Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. So Quebec has rolled out a new bill. It's called Bill 96. And it's an amendment to the charter that promotes the use of French language. And we have a brother who moved down to Quebec, and he's going to talk about his experience trying to find work. Take a look. I'm not really sure I can support my family anymore holding on to, uh, to this dream. It's a, it's a real reality, the added pressure of not being 100% uh, fluent in French or, or very literate in the French language. So that's added pressure that I have to convince a hiring manager that you know, I'm the right person for the job and I will work and learn the language uh, given time. But I can't immediately see a reality where I have to give up this dream for my family and go, you know, further away and bring my skills to another province. So basically, if you live in the province of Quebec, you're really going to have a hard time finding work or even getting um, government services the companies in the province of Quebec also have to declare the amount of employees they have that do not speak French. And they can also be fined if they do not meet the requirement of having French only speaking um, individuals. There have been many protests and court challenges, but none of which has made a difference. Quebec has always wanted to be separate. I grew up there, and even when I grew up there, they were always fighting to be separate. They always wanted to promote the French language, and if you don't speak French, you're out of luck. My parents made sure that we knew how to speak French, mainly because they didn't want us out there in the streets with all of these racist people and not understand what people are saying around us, behind our backs, so that we can be have at least have some level of safety. So as it is today, if you live in that province and you don't speak French, you're going to have a really hard time. This brother moved from the United States to Quebec after his mother passed away because he wanted to be close to his family. And that's the main reason why he wants to stay in Quebec. However, if you are not willing to learn French, best thing to do is move to a, a province that's English speaking that's not too far away. Ottawa is actually really close to uh, Quebec and Ontario is maybe five hour drive, even closer train ride or flight. So instead of struggling to find work in Quebec, just move to an English speaking province and you'll still be close to your family. Maybe not in the actual province, but close by and you don't have to go through this unless you know, you want to take the time to continue to learn French. It's a little e harder to learn a language as an adult as it is as a child. I was six when I learned French. It's a whole different thing. But when you're older, it's a little bit more challenging. But good luck to this brother if he wants to stay there. Again, I encourage to leave um, because this bill is not going to be overturned. Um, it was introduced in 2022 and it's still going strong. So, you know, it's, it's, it's probably best to leave. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, download the African Diaspora News app. You want to grab it at your Google or Apple store on your phone or head over to AfricanDiasporaNews.org and grab it there. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.